We do have a warning for parents this morning. Fentanyl being disguised as children's chewable vitamins right in Washington, D.C. DEA agents say the deadly rainbow colored pills were found in and around D.C. this summer. Fox 5 DC's Bob Barner joins us live from that area to bring us the latest on that. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. And yeah, a crazy story, it sounds like. Yeah, and Josh, I will tell you that, I mean, these pills have been found all over the place, not just here in the D.C. area. They are apparently coming into the United States across the uh, Arizona-Mexico border at Nogales, just south of Tucson. Earlier this week, uh, in one case, 15,000 of these, like, rainbow-colored pills that look like uh, sweet tarts and in some cases are, are marketed online as Skittles. Uh, 15,000 of these were found in one bag strapped to a smuggler's leg. That was 15,000. The day before, 250,000 of these pills, and again, many of them uh, look like they're being uh, marketed toward young people, uh, were recovered. And, and this is just what they've gotten, what they, what they were able to uh, seize, not all that has come across the border. And you got to wonder who are these being, you know, uh, targeted for. Uh, obviously, they look like candy. In some cases, they look like colored chalk. Uh, the DEA says even just one of these small pills is enough to kill you. Here in the D.C. area, we have had, uh, as many communities have across this country, an ongoing opioid crisis. The local authorities say roughly one person a day dies from an overdose. But we had a situation in January down by uh, Nats Park, the uh, Major League Baseball stadium here in Washington, where nine people died over the course of a weekend from uh, uh, opioids that were laced with fentanyl. Uh, and then in April here uh, in another part of D.C., 10 people were killed over the span of a couple of days. So this is something that is troubling DEA, local authorities, uh, you know, and, and uh, families really across this country. As a matter of fact, in Alaska, opioid deaths are up like three or fourfold. They had something like 250 people overdose uh, and die last year, a lot of them by fentanyl. And in some cases, the DEA says, uh, you know, people are, are like wanting these fentanyl pills. That's what they're seeking. In other cases, they're getting other pills. Uh, in some cases, we're told even things like Adderall and other opioids that are laced with fentanyl. So it's a dangerous situation and this troubling new trend, uh, Josh, where these pills are, are made to look like candy, which obviously could have deadly results. And we are looking at some of the images here where you can see what they look like. I mean, they really do look just like candy. So what are parents saying? Have you been able to speak to them about this? Because I'm sure a lot of parents have some pretty strong thoughts about the fact that they do look just like candy. Yeah, well, you know, there, there are parents who are very concerned about just white pills that uh, in some cases kids will, you know, think or, or believe uh, is Adderall, crush them up, snort them, drop dead basically right then and there. Uh, we haven't spoken to anyone yet uh, about these colored pills. This is just coming to light today, really late yesterday, early this morning, uh, that the DEA is putting this new warning out there. But again, you've got to believe that uh, adults and, and parents with uh, children, teenage children, who have, uh, you know, substance abuse issues will be concerned because these things, just like we've been saying, look like candy, not just a normal pill that you don't know what's in there. So uh, as this day and, and the days ahead progress, we're going to probably hear from a lot of people, Josh, who are very concerned, especially for young people who know no better. That's right. All right. Fox 5 DC's Bob Barnard, thank you so much for joining us with that very important warning for parents who really need to pay attention to this new warning. You bet, Josh.